There needs to be more information on Marathon Canoe Racing products. With that being said, I'm going to review my latest addition to my paddle collection, and that is this GRB Curve Blade Racing Paddle. Yeah. For this product review, I'm going to break it down into two distinct sections, and that is first, specifications of the product and details, and then secondly, my opinion after testing out the product. What we have here is GRB's Curve Blade Design Paddle. This is a 50 inch paddle, so that means that from the tip of the blade all the way to the end of the handle, this is going to be a total of 50 inches. The width of the blade is just under 8 inches. This has a tapered shaft, so it's going to be narrower here by the handle at 3.5 inches. And down here, it's going to be just around 4 inches. This is a braided shaft. The blade is a curved blade throughout the whole face of the blade. And there is a rib down the center of the blade that goes about halfway down into the paddle. There is a perfectly flat part to the blade right here. This uh, paddle weighs in at 10 ounces, which is going to be comparable to a medium weight paddle of probably the most popular uh, paddle manufacturer that you'll see out on the water today. The craftsmanship on this paddle is very top notch. Um, they've done a really good job. The blade um, edges are very clean. Um, all of the seams are very clean and overall I was very impressed when I first uh, got this paddle at the quality of this paddle. The cost of this paddle is $225. When you compare that to its direct competitor, that's around $65 cheaper. And if you compare it to other paddles that you'll see, it's even more of a difference in price. My overall opinion of this paddle is very good. One of the biggest things that I like about it is the catch. Because it has this curved blade and there's the, all this flat area right here, when you bury that blade into the water, this thing holds that water very well. Now, also with this curved blade, I've noticed that on the exit of my stroke, I tend to pull a little bit more water. When I first started with it, I thought it would be an issue. I've paddled with this for about five hours. I've noticed the longer I paddle with it and the more I focus on my exit, the less water I'm taking out. So I believe that that was a technical error on my part, not necessarily on the paddle. The other big, huge advantage that I will, um, I will put this paddle up against any paddle on the market is its price and what you're getting for the price. I mean, at $225, this is significantly cheaper than direct comparables on the market, and anything that might be lighter is always going to be more, so, and they're not going to be as durable, and I just don't think that, you know, saving an ounce um, or two ounces when you're going to get not as, you know, the paddle um, durability is going to be lower, um, definitely is a big trade-off in my opinion. So uh, for those reasons, um, you will be seeing me use this paddle um, quite regularly because this, I believe, is a top-notch paddle, not at a top-notch price. So um, those are my overall opinions. I'd love to know if you guys have tried the GRB uh, Curve Blade Paddle and what your thoughts are. So if you have those, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this content, make sure if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And until next time, guys, paddle hard.